Hello, and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be discussing Clip Studio Paint's speech bubble tools, and how you can customize them for use in webcomics. Links to additional tutorials and information for everything mentioned in today's video will be down in the description. In Clip Studio Paint, you can find the speech bubble tools in the balloon subtool group. There are four default tools for drawing out bubbles. The rounded balloon tool, the ellipse balloon tool, the curve balloon tool, and the balloon pen tool. As you can see, the rounded and ellipse balloon tools let you make speech bubbles just by dragging your cursor to the size and dimensions you want. The curve balloon tool allows you to make a custom shaped bubble using curved lines. The balloon pen lets you freely draw any shape, and it will turn that into a speech bubble for you. Drawing multiple bubbles that overlap will make the shapes combine. When your bubble is drawn, the balloon tail and thought balloon tail tools let you make a bubble tail to indicate which character is speaking by dragging out from the balloon. Alternatively, you can drag the tail inwards to make a cutout shape for characters that are out of panel. The balloon tail will automatically change to match the line art and fill style of the speech bubble it's attached to. What makes Clip Studio Paint's speech bubbles handy is that they're fully customizable after you create them. Using the object tool, you can resize, reshape, reposition, and rotate your bubble. Clicking on the balloon lets you pull the sides of the bubble for further adjustments. By going to the Tool Property panel, you can customize the balloon tool to suit your webcomic's needs. The Line Color and Fill Color settings let you customize the color of your bubble. You can have them automatically swap your currently selected colors, or use a chosen set of colors instead. The figure options allow you to change the bubble shape. When the rectangle or polygon options are selected, you can adjust the roundness of their corners with the slider below. The brush size option lets you control the border thickness of your bubble. Checking the random box under the brush size dynamics menu will turn the line into a more jagged style, which can be handy for making more organic looking bubbles. The brush shape dropdown lets you switch the brush used for the border to any brush preset you have saved. For my webcomic, I use a custom brush preset based on my drawing brushes so the bubbles will match my art style. In the next video, I'll be going over how to use text tools with your speech bubbles, as well as some ways you can make and use materials for dialogue. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.